This interfaith marriage ceremony is drawing to its conclusion. I join Father Walker in ratifying the confirmation of your marriage vows. And I'm doing so by virtue of the ecclesiastical authority vested in me at the time of my ordination. Therefore, I do hereby declare your marriage to be valid and binding, and I do hereby pronounce you, Catherine, and you, Cordero, to be husband and wife in the sight of God and man. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and grant you the blessings of peace and health and happiness and harmony with each other, with your loved ones, with your fellow men, and with your God, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Now it's coming. This is what you've been waiting for, Kevin. And now, in the ancient tradition of the conclusion of the wedding ceremony, the groom will break the glass. Mazel tov! <laughs> well, go on, Cordero, kiss the bride! Yes, sir. I'll be with you. Go in peace. you head back to the wedding? You'll probably make it to the reception. No, nah, Cindy was exci as excited about uh, the wedding as Kate was. She doesn't need me to bring her down. Now listen, forget about your problems here at the end. Just go have a good time. Yeah, right, and you have... Forget all about <laughs> Tina. <right>? Easier <laughs> said than done. Seriously, Max, you can't grieve forever. I'm not grieving. Grieving means believing she's dead. Max, don't you think... Steve, I know everybody says she does. I know they saw her going over the fault. Hell! Kate and Cord are practically dancing on her grave. They're so happy, but I'm sorry. I can't help it. I, I can't help it if I can't believe she's gone. Max. Oh, my good God. Tina, I don't believe it. I do. The proverbial bad penny. Oh, Asa, will you hush up? Okay, folks, let's give her a little room to breathe, huh? A doctor. We need a doctor in here. Everybody, make room. Grace, get an ambulance. Come on, come on. Let's carry her up to the front. Yes, sir. Her face was so red when she came running in, as if she'd been running a marathon. Perhaps she has. It's a long way back from the grave. It's incredible. It's all? more like a nightmare come to life. Oh, well, Maria, where are you going? Over to my son. He's just had a terrible shock. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Kate's in there with Cord. Why don't you wait outside? Why don't you stop giving me orders? Cord, are you okay? I don't know, Kate. You? I don't know either. How's the baby? I don't know that either. 
I, I think he's doing just fine. I'm not even sure I know my own name right now. I should have known. When you broke that champagne glass before the wedding, it was a terrible omen. Mother, this is no time for omens or blame. Kate looks so lost. I'm going to go see if I can help her. Haven't you done enough? If Kate had gone ahead with the wedding, as planned in my garden, we would have been spared this dreadful apparition. Mother, that's enough. You deal with her. I'm going to Kate. It's a good idea. I'm going to do what I can see to help Dory. What did I say? Oh. The ambulance is on its way. Oh, I have to hand it to Tina. But dead or alive, she sure knows how to make an entrance. Only this time, she was too late. Oh, will you stop? That uh, poor girl must have gone through hell. Well, it's only fitting. Everybody she knew, she put through the same thing. And you're all hard, Ace. There's just one little factor of a little. Oh, and what is that, Petey? A little bundle of joy down there just might be your great-grandchild. Kim, I think it's time to get the boys back home. Oh, Dad, it was just getting interesting. No arguments. Now, your mom and I will be coming home as soon as we find out that Tina's okay. Okay. Dad, that baby, is that our cousin? Come along, boys. We'll try to sort it all out in the car. Thanks, Kim. Anything I can do to help? No, thank you. Uh, yes. Actually, there is something, John. There are reporters waiting outside. Perhaps you could go and get rid of them without letting on. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Words seem inadequate in a moment like this. In fact, I've never experienced a moment like this. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. Actually, I think it makes four of us. How are you both? Uh, I think we're both kind of seeing stars right now. Judith, why don't you find a place where you can take Kate and, and go sit down? Huh? No. No, I'm fine. But I really think that you ought to go check on Tina. It, it, it looks like she's got a lot of people up there taking care of her. My place is right here with you, Kate. Honey, I'm fine. Please, go see how she is. I'll take the baby cord. Is baby all right? Well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think he is. Uh, it's just I never held a baby that this was that was this light before. It's kind of light as air, you know? <laughs> air and lungs and vocal cords. You were doing great. Not making a sound. <laughs> Welcome to Lamb, you little guy. <laughs> it's kind of like a miracle, you know? I thought that I had lost him. And now he's here, and I'm holding him, and it's just like magic, you know? He's beautiful, Cord. He's a beautiful baby. Yeah. Cord. I'll be right back, all right? I'll be here. You better be. Listen, you girls, you are my wife, all right? And nothing is going to change that. You understand me? Nothing. Go on. He's a beautiful baby. Of course, why wouldn't it be? It's good bloodlines. Tina and, and Cord are very attractive. I just hope he takes after Cord and not that Tina. Oh, Asa, I've had enough out of you. Come on, Pam. Uh, Let's go over to Judith. I'm sure she can use some help. Uh, sweetheart, don't you want to sit down? Why does everybody think I'm upset? <laughs> just because I've been married less than a minute and my... Husband's first wife walks in with their child. It's just another day in the life of Kate Sanders. Kate Sanders Roberts. Oh, Kate, Kate I... I mean, I wanted to know that... Is there anything at all I can do? Thanks, I, Pam. I don't really think anybody knows what to do. Kate? Uh, if you want to get out of here, we could go to the ante room. No, Cindy, I, I really don't see any reason to run away. 
As long as my husband is here, my place is with him. Okay, I know what I should do. I think that I should take this beautiful bundle from you <laughs> so that you have two free hands. Thank come you, on, Wanda. Beautiful. When you're leaving. Thank okay, you. Okay, come on, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Colors that didn't even make mistakes. Okay. Oh, is he going to have stories to tell his grandchildren? <laughs> Maybe you should take her advice. The ante room will be more comfortable. No, Mom, I'm not leaving. I'm going to stay here until Cord checks on Tina. And then we'll leave together as planned. Okay. How's she doing, Doreen? Is she going to be all right? Yes, it appears that she fainted from exhaustion or stress or a combination of both. How's the baby? Uh, it's beautiful. I know, Vicki, uh... Judas says that he, he looks pretty healthy. It's crazy. It's like I was in the middle of one beautiful dream and I woke up and all of a sudden I'm in the middle of another one. Is this really happening? You bet it is. Tina is very real. And so is your baby.